Ironton football is filled with a rich history of great pride and unique traditions. Although some are more apparent than others, faith bands are one faithful tradition that Fighting Tigers have used throughout the years to express personal faith and a passion for the game of football. Uh, back in about around 83 when I was with the team, uh, the Iron Team, team chaplain, and uh, I had a, an, an idea to how to prepare our guys mentally, physically, spiritually, spiritual parts where I came in, faith, you, you know. Believe in yourself. You gotta believe in what right got you this far. You gotta join hands and join hearts, and by faith, let's go out and take this game. A friend of mine at First Baptist would draw crosses in church softball, either on his hand or his wrist or something. I can't remember, but I remember that. And then kind of one night I woke up, God gave me this, you know, this little vision, whatever. That I thought, well, you know, that's pretty cool. And I thought, wristband, you know, and the wristband. We could draw on a wristband, nah, that's tacky. So we used, we, we got them printed, you know, at, at Bob Lenz years ago. That's how it started. And we, we give every player a, a faith band, we called it, and a faith, focus, faith, focus, faith, you know, and it, it's not, a, it wasn't a good luck charm, it wasn't made to make you more religious, it wasn't anything like that, it, it was a focal point, like when you get tired and you're on your last breath and you got your hand in the ground and you can't go another down, man, you look on that wrist and you say, man, I, there's some focus there, there's some sacrifice there, and so that, that's how it got started. This you know? is your day, you better take it personally, you better take it serious. Uh, seniors, it's the last time you wear the orange and black uniform. It's a great day for you. It's a great day in your life. You'll never forget this day, man. I don't care if you're sophomore, junior, or senior. Never forget this day as long as you live. You'll tell your grandkids about this day. When you're old as I am and they are a walker in a nursing home, you'll tell your kids about this day. All right? This is our day. We're going to claim the game today and we want to play like champions. You got me? We're going to claim this game. This one right here. This is the only one we got left. The first night, the first game, first home game. Well, first game anyway. The guys that go home on Thursday after practice after they're getting beat up all July and August. And the first night, come in the next afternoon for the game at Tank Stadium and the stripe would be on their helmet. And then they would have a pair of wristbands or faith bands obviously in their locker. And the first, first time I'd talk to the team, first game, I would explain to them, we'd talk about the stripe on the helmet, we'd also talk about the faith bands. These are not wristbands, they're faith bands. Faith in your abilities that God gave you. Faith in each other as teammates, you trust each other. Faith in your coaches and your school, your community, and your God. And so they, they knew. I mean, the players always called them faith bands. They still do. They don't call them wristbands. And uh, that was a neat thing. It really was a neat thing to see that and to be an experience that because you mean you like, you know, an old guy like me standing there watching that, he means you want, makes you want to cry because he, you know, these guys get it. Uh, it's actually kind of funny. I didn't wear them at the start of the year because I, I really didn't have one. And then D. Harv in the locker room, he was handing them out to like Lincoln and all those guys. I asked him if he had extra and he gave me one of his. But uh, just this past week, you know, his dad and his grandpa came in and talked to us and they had a really good speech. You know, I really appreciated those guys coming in. And they gave everybody on the team one, which I thought was pretty cool and it's special. And I think it's a pretty unique thing to do. I know they used to do that on the older teams, so I think it's cool we're bringing that tradition back. I actually got my first one from a little girl after a game. She gave it to me and she, always, she told me to always remember who I was playing for. And that's really like, it touched me in a way, like I could learn something from somebody young, that much younger than me. And all our team does, like we believe in each other, we believe in ourselves, we believe in something bigger than us. And football is bigger than us, like this sport, this community, it's something bigger than just a sport. So I think the Faith Bands really is a way to tie us together and to God above and just really to believe. Growing up, I've always been a Christian. I was raised in church and I think that's a big part of my life. You know, it always has been. It's just you know, having faith in God and everything like that. So I always wear one of those to represent, you know, to let people know. Um, I wear it on the field. I kind of just keep it with me wherever I go. If we're doing practice, I, I wear them a lot in practice. I wear them in games just to, uh, you know, always have that with me and always represent, you know, being faithful. That doesn't mean we're going to win every game, but by golly, we're going to be focused. Faith and focus and finish. That's as easy as it gets. Faith, focus and finish. That's how life is.
I'm a Christian person, so everywhere that I go, I want to have faith. I want to believe in faith. I want to show others that I have faith and that you can believe in me. From from a guy that grew up in the locker room, being a ball boy, to then playing, to then coaching, um, uh, it's been part of my journey here at Ironton. Um, it's been part of the uniform while I've been around, and um, and to to different guys, it means different things, and um, and that's the the whole point is that is that it that it makes you think about like that guy's got my back. Um, it's faith, and and part of faith is trust. Just a reminder of what we really play for. Uh, Faith Band has always been a tradition at Ironton. Um, to know that he's right there by you, even though you're out on a football field, um, it's a lot. Uh, he helps you get through everything. You know, I know that God's always going to be there for me, and if I need something to lean on, he's going to push me, and he's going to make me and get me to where I need to be. So those Faith Bands, I just feel like, you know, with that on me, I have God on me. So at all times, God's with me, even on the field. Um, you know. Ironson's always been like a huge part of my life ever since I was a kid. All I've ever wanted to be is an Iron Fighting Tiger. And uh, as my dad wore, wore it and my uncle, it's just been part of Ironson's tradition and it just means a lot to me. And I wouldn't want to be anywhere else and it's just a big part of my life. I mean, it just means a lot. I mean, it's kind of like, I, like Trevor was saying, I was bo ever since I was little, I was born into a Christian family and that's all we kind of preached was in our family. It's like, make sure we just like love Christ and do all this and help others and show others to him. And so I just kind of like seeing all these players wear him, it's kind of like cool for me just seeing that. And I mean, I just want to make sure we kind of carry on this tradition. It's, it's a ministry, honestly. When people see that, like you, the average person, the average fan sees that on a player and they go, at the end of the game, like, well, what's that? What is that, you're, what is that you got on? Players ask players on the field. I've always, put my trust in the Lord and without Him I really have no clue where I would be. Uh, so this is just kind of my way of showing that He's still with me even out on a football field playing a sport. Anything can happen in the game, you just got to stay in the fight. You know, God, um, God's an important figure in my life so I use Him as like a escape place to go if I have like any like emotions bursting up in the game. Uh, that cross means a lot to me actually, it uh, actually signifies all the people who died in my family so I play for them and I just, they uh, died on the cross for me, that's what I believe. Meaning to me is, it kind of reminds you what everything you're doing in your life is for. It's all glory to God and then just basically everything's for Him you do so whenever you're doing something like football in His name, it's more of a, uh, it means more, just a little bit more, you know what I mean? I think it reminds people, I trust that guy. It reminds, it reminds your quarterbacks that are getting the, the play call, I trust my coach. And, and when you don't think you can go anymore, you, you think, golly, I'm worn out. It, you can look down and say, you know, um, a lot of other people have sacrificed the, the legacy of, of Jesus Christ on the cross. Um, he sacrificed his life. Um, but there's been people before me since 1983 that have that have left a lot on this field and in this locker room that have sacrificed, and so it, it links those guys together. A, a, a common legacy, a common a common theme throughout the years from 1983, and golly, there's been a lot of success at Ironton since 1983. Uh, it means everything to me. Um, Faith is a big role in the game, I believe, and uh, I write the same Bible verse on my wrist before I walk out every game, 1 Corinthians 13, 7. Love bears all things, love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. But it's not anything I've ever done. You know, it's a, it was a God thing, it's a spiritual thing, a focal point, make your heart better. Yeah, and uh, that's what it's about.